Hey guys, it's American Sports Team here with Toby, my webkin signature Timberwolf. And today's video is going to be a story time video. As you can tell from the title, I saw Hamilton last night for the first time. And it was incredible and I love it so much. And here is what happened. So, my mom and I were originally going to go to see it next January, but due to some perfectly typed schedule changes, we went last night. We drove Sunday afternoon all the way to Louisville, Kentucky, which took around three hours from my house, and we listened to the, uh, we listened to the soundtrack on the way there. Uh, we got there an hour early, so we bought our tickets. I got a t-shirt from the merch area, and we waited in line. After a while, we walked into the auditorium and took our seats. We bought the last two seats that were together because every other seat was spread apart. I watched as people were coming in and obviously taking pictures and videos of where they were. We were in row K, which was 12 rows from the stage, which was really, really cool. Then it happened. The lights went out and magic began. From the second I heard the opening notes, I knew it was going to be amazing. I sat there fangirling and loving every minute of it. The first act was super funny and all the characters were great. The second act, while still funny at times, had more emotion into it. I almost teared up because of how everything was happening super fast. And the staging was incredible. They have this turntable and oh my goodness, helpless and satisfied were just so awesome. And the ensemble was super cool to watch, and they had fluent transitions between each song. And after the show ended, everyone on stage took a bow, and we left. Speaking of the actors, here is the list of the cast that we saw. And by the way, everyone had amazing vocals and did so good. So, to start this list off, Trey Frazier played Alexander Hamilton. Oh my word, he was so amazing. He was full of energy and very emotional at times. They also had great chemistry with Washington. Also, he's really, really short compared to him, which I thought that was kind of funny. Hannah Cruz played Eliza, and she had a great range of emotion in her vocals. And you could feel the emotion in everything she was in, and it was so good. Josh Tower played Aaron Burr. And oh my goodness, he was literally going non-stop. He was very chill in the first act, but as the show was building in the second act, you could see the emotion of his outstanding performance. He did a good job as the narrator, and he was very intense and energetic. Charnette Bately played Angelica, and she reminds me of Renee from the original cast. And she had a great performance, and she was very emotional. Paul Oakley Stalvo played George Washington, and he was one of the best performances. He's so much like Chris from the original cast. He definitely commanded his scenes well, and he had really good singing parts, and he's also really tall. Bryson Bruce played Lafayette and Jefferson. Oh my goodness, he was one of my personal favorite performances. He is so funny. He has really great dance moves. He's one of the best rappers in the show. He's very sarcastic and it was really fun to watch. Chandra Hall Broomfield played Mulligan and Madison. He was very funny and had a very deep vocals and he had great chemistry with Bryson. Lawrence and Philip was played by John Victor Corpez. Oh, my heart. Oh my goodness. He had such a youthful energy about him. He was really adorable. And he played both parts very well. He was also one of my favorite performances. Olivia Puckett played Peggy and Mariah. Oh my goodness, this was a transition. <laughs> She was very good, and she had an awesome portrayal of both characters, and she was super dramatic at times. King George III was played by Peter Matthew Smith. Oh my stinking goodness! He was my favorite performance! I never knew how funny King George was until I saw this. He was very hilarious. He was super sassy, and Peter absolutely nailed that part. 
And his little jest was really fun to watch. And now I like to give some honorable mentions for the people who are super underrated. First off, there is Joshua Rivera, who played Samuel Seabury. He's really funny and he deserves a whole lot more attention. Another person who is an honorable mention is Robbie Nicholson, who played Charles Lee. He was hilarious and he was really awesome to watch. The last honorable mention is Will Travis, who played various characters like James Reynolds and Philip Schuyler and the Doctor. Well, not that kind of Doctor, <laughs> but yeah, he was really, really good. And all three of them are super underrated characters and they were really well done. Oh, okay. I'm gonna take a minute to talk about the ensemble. Oh my goodness, it was the best choreography I've ever seen. And they had super seamless transitions between songs and they just have amazing skills and they're incredible. And also, I'm giving a shout out to all the amazing performers who did all of the music mixing and sound things. It was so incredible. I mean, the soundtrack itself is amazing, obviously, but just to hear it on stage is a totally different experience than just listening to it on its own. Everyone in this performance did amazing. And I'm super glad to watch it as my first professional production of a Broadway show. And it's totally worth it to drive three hours to go there. And I definitely recommend it to anyone who's into history or rap or anything like that. So, with that said, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!